I want to talk about the five sins that game developers make and this is for complete beginners as well as for people who already know how to create games and they try to get into the industry by creating their own games and these are mortal sins because after this video I'm going to kill you okay but anyways the first sin of game developers is that they get into the comfort zone, especially beginners. And what is that comfort zone? Well, what a beginner does when he wants to learn how to create games is that he goes on YouTube, he searches for tutorials and he starts watching them. And that is totally fine because I also create tutorials, go and watch my tutorials. And, but the issue here is that they get too comfortable with these tutorials. They just follow the tutorials. They don't do anything else outside of the tutorials and they don't even try to understand the code that they are writing from the tutorial that they are watching. Of course, you need to watch tutorials in the beginning to get used to the syntax, to get used to... When you enroll in my Ultimate Game Development Academy, you will get access to all the courses you see on this list. And currently there are 55 courses and every month I add new courses where you will learn how to create games in Unity, Unreal Engine, and you will also learn how to create game assets using Blender and Illustrator and much more. Also, the navigation in my academy is very simple. Simply click on the course that you want to learn. So if you want to learn how to create a mobile game in Unity, click on the course, it will take you to the page where you have all the videos and simply click on the video that you want to watch. And of course, you will also get my priority support in my academy. So everything that is not clear below the video, you will have a comment section where you can post questions and I will answer and explain everything that is not clear. So if you want to learn how to create games using Unity or Unreal Engine, or if you want to learn how to create game assets using Blender and Illustrator, click the first link inside this video or in the description of this video and enroll in the Game Development Academy code that you're going to write because if it's your first time writing code you need to get used to that and also getting used to the interface that you're using depending on which game engine you are you chose for your game development but don't get too comfortable with it because I've seen people that they just want to watch tutorials and anything they want to create in their game they search for a tutorial how to do this oh can you create a tutorial for that or whatever now if you're thinking about asking me below this video, below the, in the comment below, can you create a tutorial for this or that? Forget it because I'm not gonna create it, okay? You need to figure things out on your own. So don't get comfortable with just watching tutorials for every single thing that you need in your game development journey. Which brings me to sin number two, and that is not testing your knowledge. And this ties up to the first thing, which is getting comfortable, because when you get comfortable, you never test your knowledge. You just watch tutorials, you don't do anything else. So my advice is test your knowledge. If you're watching a tutorial where the character is jumping or how to make a character jump, try to make him move left and right, up and down, and try to tweak things in your code, change some numbers, change some code, and see the outcome because that is the best way to learn. Of course, after this is the step where you can download projects from GitHub or other similar websites. But in order to get to that step, you need to understand how code works, what is object-oriented programming, to be able to read other people's code. But the point here is, whatever you're watching, whatever you're doing, when it comes to your learning how to create games, how to code and create games, try to implement that. Try to practice it. That is the second sin of game developers, because if you don't practice, then you will never learn. If you don't test your knowledge, you will never learn. The number three or third thing from game developers is they try to learn everything. And I've seen this. A lot of people, they just want to learn every single detail, which is not possible, especially the built-in functions. It's not possible for you to understand everything, especially how it works under the hub. You need to focus on the main things, especially if you're a beginner. Now, this is... This concerns only the beginners because they want to get into complex topics like creating games, type of RPG or, I don't know, first-person shooters, which are the hardest games to create. But if you're a beginner, you're not going to be able to do that because you need a deeper understanding of how game development works, how to put a game together, and how coding works in general. So do not try to learn everything. Focus on the fundamental things. First, understand how code works, what is object-oriented programming, how to create classes, how to create objects, how to put that together in a game, how to create a script for the player, how to make that communicate with a script for the enemy, for example, so on and so forth. There are many examples, but focus on the fundamental things 
first and then move on to complex things. So don't try to learn everything right away. That was the third thing. The fourth thing is when a beginner learns how to create a game or he knows how to code, he knows how to put a game together and now he starts working on his own game. He doesn't have a plan. What does that mean? Well, he just jumps right into the project and just starts creating the game, thinking that he will finish it, publish it online, and people will download it. It's not how it works. You need to have a plan laid out. How are you going to create a game? What your game is going to have? Now, of course, when I say what your game is going to have, the features and stuff like that, I don't mean that you need to figure out every single detail of your game, that's not possible, but lay out the main components of your game and what you will have inside and how your game is going to look like create a prototype to see if the game is fun at all before you even try to work and make it a more bigger and complex project. So lay out a plan. Don't just jump into it thinking, oh, I have a game idea, open the project and start working. It, it doesn't go like that because games like that, you will usually not finish them or you will finish them, they will be poor. Or even if it's a good game by some miracle, people will not know your game, they will not know how to download it, they will not know where it is, so you need to figure everything out. How to create the game, market the game while doing that, and of course at the end you will have a successful publishing of that game. So just think it through, lay out a plan, and then start creating the game. Which brings me to the fifth thing and the last one that I'm going to talk about in this video is that when people, game developers, start creating their game, they don't get feedback on that game. What does that mean? Well, that ties up to the fourth, which is marketing the game as well as creating or while you are creating it, because that way people will watch you create the game and you can get feedback from them. Why is this important? Well, because maybe you're creating a game and you think it's fun and you think some feature that you're going to implement is very fun and you play it, you test it out, you enjoy it, but the majority of people don't love it. Maybe they have a better idea. Maybe they have something else in mind that you can implement in the game because at the end of the day, it's your audience. It's the people who will download and pay for your game. Those are the people who will play it and they are important. It's not important what you think, but what's important is what they think and what or how they will find your game. So it's really important to get feedback. First, starting some Facebook groups where you're going to or Discord channels, wherever, YouTube channel, whatever you create to market your game to present it to the world try to get feedback from the people especially asking people giving them early beta or however is it beta i think anyway it's not important you get my point the demo of your game giving it out for free of course for people to test it out and tell you what's wrong with your game where you have a glitch what can be improved what can be added what can be subtracted so on and so forth so now it's time to crucify you it's time to kill you because these are five deadly sins that you did so uh, i don't know Maybe I will insert some shooting over here, bam, 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 bam. Anyways, you get the point, fire here from awesometudes.com. If you wanna learn how to create games, check out my Game Development Academy. I'm thinking about putting a free trial. Maybe it's right down below the video, free trial for 30 days. You have full access, 55 courses, 400 hours of content, more than 400 hours. So uh, check it out. But again, I'm saying maybe I'm playing with the idea, should I give free trial or not? So if you don't find it, I still haven't, enabled it, but if you find it, then good. Join and learn. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.